What up, YouTube? It's your boy, JKG Brandon. We're back playing some Diablo 4 with you. Uh, this one, I'm going to try to keep quick. This is just kind of going to be some like tips and tricks for building out and fleshing out your, your build uh, geared mostly to brand new players. Uh, I know there's a lot of content being made for, you know, the high level. Let's flex on everybody. Let's show off our 100 billion damage, uh, whatever it's going to be. Uh, this isn't going to be that. This is just some some things that I wish I would have done earlier, uh, some things that I would have wished I focused on a little bit earlier, and some things that are just kind of uh, things that new players to Diablo may not think about. So we're going to kind of just jump right up on into it. I'm going to try to keep this one as quick as we can here for us. First and foremost, these particular stats right here, your attack power, armor, life, just... Keep the blinders on. Don't don't pay attention to them. They mean nothing. Uh, as a barb specifically, I'm going to be using strength as my my base damage dealing stat. So we're going to pump some you know strength into that wherever we can get it. That's going to be just fine. We don't have to go crazy with it though. Um, if you are say like a, a necro or a sorcerer, you may be an intelligence based class. You might want to be pumping into intelligence uh, when we get into you know our our gear stats and our our paragon boards and stuff like that. So that just something to think about. We're not really paying too much attention to this number over here. We actually go into your material materials and stats. Check where you're at here. Scroll down because there's actually going to be some more more important stats in my mind. Um, and I'm I've full honesty. I am level 97 uh, currently at at this very moment, and I have only recently like from level 85 plus uh, started to really focus on some of these stats, and it's basically doubled my damage uh i i was up around 6k on attack power just so you know and i'm doing almost double the damage that i was doing <laughs> at that level so you can see pumping a ton of into your just your strength is going to inflate this number but you're not going to be doing damage um you will be doing damage but you won't be doing the most optimized damage that you can so um what I'm looking for currently on my, when I get a new piece of gear, like all these pieces right here, I'm going to have to go through these. I was, it's been a long farming session uh, today, but I'm looking for crit strike chance on, on some pieces. If I can add in some crit strike chance, I'm going to be golden. You know, having a ton of hits with a lower chance is okay. It kind of evens out. Uh, if I was going to be doing something where I only hit, you know, one or two times, like a Hammer of the Ancients build, I might want my crit chance a little bit higher. Probably the most important of the damage stats that I'm kind of coming around on is the crit strike damage. Uh, you can see mine is 229.3%. This, I would actually prefer to have up around the 400 mark where my overpower damage is. Um, because it's going to be, we're going to be critting a lot more than we're going to be doing overpower. You can see overpower chance is capped at 3%. There are skills and aspects that can, you know, fluctuate that depending on your, your, your class. Uh, but everybody's going to have 3% chance to overpower, which is going to be a combination of your crit strike and your vulnerable damage all, all in one. Um, that's where we get those really dark orange numbers those are going to be your overpower damage. Uh, I would like to have, you know, stack higher crit chance, uh, have a high crit chance with a really high crit strike damage, uh, have a really high vulnerable damage, and then have a pretty decent uh, overpower damage. So like if I were to have these like just straight flip flopped, that would be a lot better in my opinion for what I'm doing. On your uh, armor and, and everything, so we're going to look from helmet, chest, gloves pants and boots we're going to focus on those real quick here rubies are going to be the best in slot gem for you currently because you're going to be it's going to give you max life which is just going to make you a little bit tankier and if you know anything about myself i do like to say you cannot do damage if you're dead so the more you can do to stay alive is better off of that uh, we're going to be looking for all stats our cooldown reduction is going to be great uh, anywhere you can get cooldown reduction try to get cooldown reduction crit strike chance try to get that but more importantly on like your helmet your chest and your pants specifically if you can get damage reduction 
uh, whether it's just straight up damage reduction, j damage reduction to bleeding, damage reduction to injured, damage reduction to X, Y, Z, right? Whatever it is, if you can add in some damage reduction, try to do it because that's going to help you immensely. Um, specifically to your boots on the base stat, which in this case, uh, if we look at it right here, attacks reduce evades cooldown by 1.2 seconds. If you can get an alternate one where something like using a potion is going to give you 50% movement speed for like four seconds, I believe it is, uh, that I would personally like to have instead of that. Having the base movement speed in here on the sub stat along with movement speed after killing an elite. I don't typically like conditional uh, things like gaining speed after killing an elite. However, with this one here, it works really good. Um, also, wherever you can get it, your primary resource for a barb is fury. You're gonna be looking for you know primary resource reduction wherever you can get it. Where So if you see something that has three good stats that you're really happy about and then you're like oh this this you know fury cost reduction is kind of kind of janky you're fine that's always going to be a really good thing to add in so don't even sweat that at all on your jewelry it's similar to your to your uh to your armor the only difference is going to be we're going to be looking primarily for cooldown reductions and fury reductions uh wherever we can get it on these uh Instead of using rubies, we're going to use the uh, the skulls because we're going to get just a flat armor increase, which is going to help us be tankier. So we're adding life on the armor side and we're adding just armor on our jewelry side, which goes together, which helps us be a little bit more tanky. So hopefully we can stay alive just that little bit longer to get that one last hit because who knows, that one last hit might be one of those big, huge overpower hits and then we're good to go. Emeralds and sapphires are going to be really good. Emeralds are going to give us crit strike to vulnerable enemies and sapphires are going to give us crit strike to crowd controlled enemies. So for a whirlwind barb, both of those are going to actually be really good. I'm actually going to experiment here in the next couple of days, uh, dropping out a couple of the emeralds and putting in a couple sapphires just to see if I see a difference and in everything like that. But typically we're going to be emeralds all across the board. Uh, you're going to see that for most of the builds that I've seen from other content creators and stuff, emeralds have been really heavily featured uh, because we're going to do a ton of vulnerable damage and that is just a way to really maximize on that. Uh, anywhere you can get sh uh, crit strike damage, vulnerable damage, you know, strength, all stats is a really good one. But uh, yeah, you're going to be looking for all of your offensive stats based on your, your, uh, your weapons for the most part one other big tip that i would say is use your potions <laughs> your potions whether it's something like this that i just picked up in a nightmare dungeon when i was running around uh increase our damage against vampires blah 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 whatever who cares uh, we are going to get experience gained by five percent for that 30 minutes that is going to help you level up a lot faster try to make sure and i'll just pop this just so you can see what it looks like We'll use it, and you can see right here, we are we are under that effect right now. It has a little little clock timer. As you go through, uh, make sure when when it pops off, try to make sure that you can pop another one if you can. That way, you're always getting that bonus XP, especially while you're leveling, especially while you're brand new. Uh, it goes a long way. And then, as far as your aspects, when you when you extract aspects and stuff like that, uh, I'll use my helmet as a really good option uh, to kind of show this. But as you're going, as you're leveling up, don't put your your max roll stuff on on like mid level gear. Try to wait till you have like some some really good like end game level pieces of gear to put those max stat aspects on. Um, you can see this one here. We have the range from 11 to 23. I haven't got a max stat one yet, so when I do get one, it's gonna go on this piece, no problem. Put on those those mid-level aspects. When you get, you know, multiples, uh, put one in the stash, put the lower one, you know, maybe put the lower one on if you have like the GG one. And then once you start getting, you know, level, you know, I, I would say like 75 plus, and you're starting to drop these, you know, the, the better gear and stuff like that. 
and you're starting to drop that GG gear, that's when you're going to want to put that, you know, max roll aspect on. Um, I went the opposite way. I was just putting everything on. I was putting best the, the best one on, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to get another one down the road, and I'll put it back on. And I've had a few pieces where I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself in the backside now because I don't have that GG aspect to put back on a piece that and i have something like this where it's kind of that that base model uh which kind of hinders what i want to do but it's not the worst thing in the world so that's where we're going to kind of leave it on this one uh, i don't want to go too deep in the weeds i don't want to you know take up you know 50 minutes of your time uh and have you sitting here for an hour just listening to me ramble on about everything but um, if you have any other tips and tricks for some brand new players or for somebody that you know may not be um, understanding everything you know as easily or something that you know came out of nowhere to you even if you're a seasoned player if there's something that that you saw uh as you were leveling up as you were grinding that you think could help somebody that's brand new leave it in the comments below guys uh definitely want to see see some uh some ideas from you guys if you guys have any uh, i am jkg brandon you guys are amazing if you like this video go ahead and do all the youtube things like it comment subscribe hit the notification bell all that stuff uh and i'll see you in the next diablo 4 video peace